Should the 49ers trade for Rams cornerback Jalen Ramsey? According to reports, the Rams are looking to shop him. That's what we're discussing on today's 49ers report. No matter where you are or how you're tuned in, as always, we appreciate all of you for making today's show a part of your day. Before we dive into this very interesting discussion, because Jalen Ramsey, a fantastic corner who obviously plays inside this division in the NFC West, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on 80,000 subscribers. We're 1,200 people away. And if you want daily shows on all things 49ers all year round. Lock us in and subscribe today. So this report coming out from Tom Pelissero a couple of days ago leading up to the weekend that the Rams have had trade talks about the six-time Pro Bowler in Jalen Ramsey and a lot of teams across the National Football League do believe that he is going to get moved once the new league year starts. And Ramsey, 28 years old, due $17 million in 2023 on a front-loaded deal that averages around $20 million dollars per year and after releasing Bobby Wagner now the Rams continue possibly to clear up some of that cap space as they went all in to win the Super Bowl a couple of years ago and now they're paying the price for that now this report coming from Pelissero as we mentioned from the NFL Network and a lot of teams across the NFL are really keeping an eye on what the Rams are going to do obviously they let go of Bobby Wagner now they have Jalen Ramsey on the trade block could other players on that Rams roster also be available. Ramsey coming off a down year but is still one of the best cornerbacks in the National Football League and immediately he becomes the number one cornerback on the market. Now here's my take with this. Obviously, the San Francisco 49ers are facing an uphill battle to trade for Jalen Ramsey, given his price tag and the fact that he plays in the NFC West. But when engaged, Jalen Ramsey is one of the NFL's top cornerbacks. But to me, last year, I thought he had one of his worst seasons of his professional career since getting drafted top five out of Florida State. Did not play at his peak like we're used to seeing, but... When he is engaged, when Jalen Ramsey is tapping into his fullest potential, he is a really premier player on that outside who can lock down any number one wide receiver across the National Football League in what has become an NFL pass-happy and offensive-laden era. And for a team that takes a chance on Ramsey and trades for him, will they get a player with the change of scenery who's rejuvenated and engaged? Because when he is playing his best football, Jalen Ramsey is everything you want in a cornerback. He's tough. He's physical. He has really good ball skills, really good awareness as well, where he can turn around and address the football. Some of his mechanics at that cornerback spot and his really awareness at that position is top notch. He also has that track down speed. If he does get beat, and you know that if you trade for Jalen Ramsey, he doesn't lack any confidence. He has so much swagger on that outside where sometimes he is on an island. As for what he did last year, yeah, he did struggle a little bit. When he was targeted, quarterbacks able to complete about 63% of their passes for 659 yards. He gave up five touchdowns, which is very unlike him. Four interceptions to 18 pass breakups in 17 games played. He's consistently been an available player and still at 28 years old, has a lot of good football left. Now, if I'm the 49ers, considering the asking price for Jalen Ramsey in a trade and what you would need to give up for him, I'd rather just re-sign Emmanuel Mosley. When you look at Emmanuel Mosley's market right now, though, he is set to cash in potentially in free agency, even though he's coming off that torn ACL and per year maybe make 13 to $16 million. Is there a massive drop-off between Jalen Ramsey and Emmanuel Mosley? No. Is there a massive, massive difference in that price tag? Yes. I'm interested to see what the market is going to be and the going rate for Emmanuel Mosley in free agency. But if I were to have my choice, and I'm going to either – mortgage a lot of draft and or player capital for Jalen Ramsey, then pay him a lot of money as he's also expected to want a contract extension. I'd rather just bring back Emmanuel Mosley at a fraction of that price tag. Now it's the opportunity for all of you in the faithful watching right now to voice what you think about this potential trade. Do you want the 49ers to trade for Jalen Ramsey? Let us know down in the comment section by giving us a Y for yes or an N for no. Today's show is presented by I cultivate and over the weekend I was doing some shopping on Amazon and I fully got to realize how valuable cultivate is 
on Amazon, it gives you a safer shopping experience while giving you other options to help you save some money. What is Cultivate? A free browser extension that brings transparency to your Amazon shopping experience. Cultivate shows you the brand, seller, or product origin and identifies local alternatives that support local community efforts while saving you money. With over 50% of Amazon US sellers based in China, Cultivate offers a way to avoid trickery from these sellers and keep money right here in the U.S. economy. Cultivate offers alternatives that are on average 30% less expensive than Amazon without any additional costs, such as Amazon Prime. It can even identify local alternatives that can that you can pick up the same day. So Cultivate users earn free donations as rewards for using that browser extension on Google Chrome. And the more you use it, the more you earn in donations by increasing your level. In fact, Cultivate donates 51% of the revenue they make right on your purchase. So what are you waiting for? Head to wecultivate.us slash chat sports, download Cultivate for free, and let Cultivate bring transparency, savings, and community support to your Amazon journey. Support the show, download it with our link. It's down in the comment section, as well as in the description of this video. Heading back to the price tag for Jalen Ramsey. Here is the breakdown of his contract, a cap hit in 2023 of $25.2 million. Now, Stay tuned because the 49ers, according to reports, are trying to restructure contracts to open up some cap space. Does that mean that they have a move in mind? Potentially. Trade savings pre-June 1, $5.5 million for the Rams. Trade savings after June 1, $17 million. Restructure savings, $10.5 million. And the new team would owe Jalen Ramsey in total a three-year deal worth $55 million. There are some contract issues here, though, maybe as we project into the future, because Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk, reporting that Jalen Ramsey likely wants a new contract despite having three years left. Folks, it's called leverage. And when you take a gander at the highest paid cornerbacks per year, Ramsey probably thinks that he's the best cornerback on this list. So because of that, he wants to vault ahead of Denzel Ward and Jair Alexander because he believes that's what his worth is. There's not a huge difference between Alexander making $21 million, Denzel Ward beating him out by $10,000 and Ramsey at $20 million even. But keep in mind that players always look at this. They understand and are aware of the fact that the salary cap is going to continue to rise. And after this free agency period, there could be some cornerbacks out there in the market who end up making a lot more than Jalen Ramsey on this list. My take when it comes down to this, the 49ers may lack the draft capital to make a trade for Jalen Ramsey. They do have the player capital they could use in order to sway the Rams into making that trade. Now, obviously, these two teams are both playing in the NFC West. And Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, they have their history. Shanahan has been able to own his former protege in Sean McVay. But could an interdivision trade happen because these two teams are obviously on two different trajectories right now? San Francisco has made it to three NFC Championship games in the last four years, back-to-back -back years. And while the Rams did win a Super Bowl in the 2021 season, they let go of Bobby Wagner. They're looking to trade Jalen Ramsey. They're trying to clear some money. Is that a fast reboot for Los Angeles, or is this a year where they're going to rebuild to try to reload the chamber chamber, so that in a couple of years they can return to form. So with that, let's ask you this. What say you, Niner Gang? What is the percent chance that the Niners trade for Jalen Ramsey? I think it's very, very slim, but I'll tell you this. If we're to, we're to do a jersey swap, Jalen Ramsey in the Niner uniform looks very, very icy with that blacked out visor. Here's a look at what he would look like in a Niners uniform. Again, I don't think it happens, but at this point in the off season, these types of rumors are going to come about and the 49ers uh, have this Super Bowl window that is open and vacant right now. So I think for John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, they should be doing everything in their power right now to improve this football team, to get over the hump, to be on that quest for six and win a Super Bowl championship. Appreciate all of you for watching. Don't forget that we want to hear from the faithful, so let your feelings be known down in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe.